I've gotten the thumb guard stuck under the strip. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we are checking out yet another musical instrument and technically we've already checked out this instrument on the channel but this one just has a little quirk which makes it stand out from the other one. Today we are checking out yet another kalimba. Charles I hear you say you've already checked out two kalimbas on the channel. How different can this one be? Well let me show you my boy. First things first let's check out what's inside the box. So we've got the kalimba itself in a nice bag as well. We've then got a self-teaching kalimba kit which has a few songs in there and a few other bits so fairly typical. It even teaches you how to tune it which is quite nice. And then you've got your tuning hammer which I'm pretty sure is not the actual name for this thing but I'm just going to call it a tuning hammer because it sounds cooler. Oh a little finger guard there so when you're playing you don't have to worry about scraping your skin off. Pretty neat little touch there. And now for the giveaway, an instrument cable for an amp. That's right, this is an electric kalimba. So let's check out the kalimba itself and that is a neat looking kalimba right there. So the first thing that stands out about this thing is the output for the amp right on the bottom there. And apart from that it looks like a pretty standard kalimba, there's nothing too crazy about it. The design of this one is quite well thought out, it's got little grooves in here for your thumbs to sit so when you're playing it it's not too uncomfortable, you're not like digging the wood into your thumbs. Even if you don't actually know how to play a kalimba you can still get a pretty good tune out of it. I mean you know me, I'm pretty crap at musical instruments. Isn't that right Ben? Awful. Just like the worst. I mean. Absolutely abysmal. I just wish you'd stop. Just stop. Even someone as bad as me can still play a good tune on the kalimba. Fairly inoffensive compared to other things I've played on this channel. But let's get to the good stuff. Let's plug this little guy into an Amplifier! I've gotten the thumb guard stuck under the strip. Because <laughs> nothing says rock and roll more than playing a kalimba through an amp. I think. Plug this into the input here and straight into the kalimba. So this is how it sounds without the amp. Now let's just turn this boy up. Fairly decent, if you ask me. Now you'd think after all this time I might have actually learnt a song on this guy, but <laughs> uh, uh, I haven't. I had an essence of doorbell jingle, but that's the closest we're going to get to a song, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what happens if I turn this thing all the way up. Then we have two choices and they are Starter Guide Classics. We've got You Are My Sunshine and Little Star. Which one do you pick? The easier one. But there's another F. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. That's not how it goes. C, C, F, C, F, C, G, C. What the f*** is that? This isn't Twinkle Twinkle's Little Star. This is something else that's called Little Star. But when you go on it, it has the lyrics. And it said twinkle twinkle little star. Twinkle twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Wait, Ben, stop. Yeah. You haven't got your thumb guards on. Oh. You gotta look after your thumbs, oh. mate. You only get one. Okay. Two. We're not leaving this studio until I hear a perfect rendition of twinkle oh, twinkle these little are star. Can I take them off? They're the thumb guards. If you don't wear them, who knows what'll happen. Alright, I need God damn it, Charles! <laughs> if you weren't so bad at this, I wouldn't have to figure it out. <laughs> Now play it with a bass boost on. you. Now should you be upgrading your regular kalimba to an electric kalimba anytime soon? Probably not. You really don't need it. It's quite a loud instrument on its own depending how you play it. And part of the charm of it is that it's quite a soft instrument. It's not something you want to blare out through an amp. And honestly when I'm playing it through this amp at the very least there's quite a lot of distortion which kind of takes away from the elegant soft sound of a kalimba. Though it does open up opportunities to use effects pedals with a kalimba and I can imagine using this with a little bit of reverb would sound pretty good. So if you're looking for an instrument to experiment with and maybe stray away from the nice gentle sounds of just an ordinary kalimba then this might be your guy. And with that I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video hit like. If you really like this video hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We've even got my own personal Twitter, which you can follow me on there. We've even got a Patreon page and a Discord server. And if you want to check out those links in the description, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. I'll stop recording, so don't bother.